Isabel, Isabel, good to see you. Can you talk us through what happened on this flight? Yeah, absolutely, Turk. So just let's just like to say, you know, what an ordeal this has been. So, you know, we're traveling with our son, Eli, who uh, suffers from epilepsy and autism. He also has severe learning difficulties. And every step of the way, we have informed uh, Emirates of the situation because we know that there are certain configuration tasks flying that will make flying easier for Eli. So they knew what was happening when we got on board that flight. So when we got on board, we asked, uh, as we often do, if there's a spare seat on the flight, is there a possibility of having that block booked for our son? And we'd asked them that in advance. Uh, we got on the flight. We asked the flight attendants this and uh, they asked us to produce a medical certificate. Now, I panicked. I've got to say, I panicked about what was happening. Happening. I couldn't find the certificate, but I called his doctor. I got his doctor on the phone immediately. She emailed through a certificate saying Eli was fit to fly because we've flown a lot with Eli, including on Emirates, uh, back and on our way back from New Zealand and to, uh, to New Zealand uh, a year ago. Um, but they just wouldn't accept it. And they had clearly decided that we would be kicked off this flight. And they took, they really didn't take into account the fact that Eli is a disabled kid, that he has learning difficulties and autism, you know, and that this was really, really very distressful for him. He, he was really distressed. This was very difficult for him to handle. You've seen the pictures of him biting himself. Eli only does this when he's really upset. He loves flying. He's really good on flights because it's one of his favorite things to do. So being removed from a flight when we have been telling him what is going to be happening, because this is what you often have to do with kids with autism. You have to really explain each stage of what is going on very clearly. Suddenly having to remove him from a flight like this caused him a lot of distress, a lot of upset to Eli and, of course, to our family. After this, you know, you mentioned the apology, but really Emirates hasn't shown any form of contrition, in my opinion. It was a slightly robotic uh, uh, kind of apology. And I, I hope Emirates will apologize properly and say quite clearly and acknowledge that people with disabilities should not be treated in this way. And, you know, when we flew, when we finally got on a flight uh, to Geneva, because there were no flights to Lyon, the, the flight attendants we spoke to were shocked at the way we 